Right. So far the car's had new HD leads, new plugs, new distributor cap, new rotor arm, new coil, and she's still no firing than one in five. That's what she sounds. That's what she sounds like at the moment. Uh, I'll take you around the other side, and we'll, we'll show you the other side and the screws and stuff that you've got to take off. I'm going to replace the distributor uh, and film it at the same time, so hopefully you see exactly how to change the distributor or the cap or the rotor arm or all three or whatever you need to do. Right, that's us around the other side now. That's the coil. That's the other new leads, and that's the distributor cap, the new cap, and the, the screws that, or bolts, or whatever you want to call them, that you need to, to remove. There's one there, one there, and there's one underneath. It's basically opposite the other one basically opposite that direction from that one down away. <coughs> right, now we're going to start stripping it off and I'm going to film it while somebody else does the job. Right, filming from the top down while the job gets done. I'm not going to film all the bolts coming out because I would just edit it out anyway. I'm going to make it short as possible. But that's the first one coming out. And I showed you the other ones. This is a replacement distributor that's getting put on. That's about that goes into the engine. That's where your rotor arm goes. And then your cap. That's it for now. And off comes your distributor cap. That's your rotor arm off. Now you to get the distributor out. So looking at it, it's just the one bolt that holds on the distributor, which is the big bolt there that you can see beside the white line. The white line obviously being for setting the timing. And that's the only bolt that holds the distributor on. As far as we can see, that's that out. Now we're going to have fun and games of getting that out, so we'll just pause again. So it was just a wee bit of persuasion, not much. And out we go. This is the easiest way to get the distributor back in. That's the distributor, the new one back in. If you're having problems putting it in, remember to make sure it's got grease, a wee bit of touchy grease on it just to slide it in because it's, uh, if it's dry you won't get it. So we touch of grease and that's it. So that's us just to reassemble now. The bolt the distributor for the timing, the rotor arm, and then the dizzy cap and the leads. And then hopefully, once it's all back together again, she'll be purring like a wee baby. <laughs>